Welcome back to Church Bethany families and volunteers and kids. We are so excited to be opening the next phase of children's ministry starting this Sunday. And I'm wearing my fancy face shield, which Jackson, my son, says I look ridiculous, but I think I kind of do. But I like that I can see your faces better if you're wearing something like this. Instead of a mask, you can see my face, you can tell if I'm happy or frustrated or excited, and you can hear my voice better. So a lot of our volunteers are gonna be choosing to wear a face shield instead of a mask. But they'll be wearing one or the other unless they have a health reason not to. And so for our kids six and up, we would also uh, encourage that you would, if you would like to do a face shield instead of a mask, that would be absolutely welcome, or a mask, or if you have a health exemption, that's okay too. Everybody is welcome to participate in children's ministry this year and whatever way works for you. Uh, but we do just wanna encourage safety as much as possible. So this is our new children's check-in area, which is gonna be totally awesome when it's up and running. It'll make checking in a lot easier for everybody. Unfortunately, we have a little bit more work that needs to be done on our Wi-Fi connection before that's gonna work for us. So I'm gonna walk you over here. When you come to church on Sunday, you will find us back in our old spot where we checked in here in the church lobby cart and our white board will be back up on its stand. And we would love for everybody to get mobile check-in. If you have a smartphone, get that on your phone, the app. And I will include information on that for you, for you to have that app on your phone. That way you can do mobile check-in. Your labels will print out on the printer here as you come into the church building, as long as you hit that check-in button all the way through when you get onto campus. And then we will have clips on the whiteboard up here for you to be able to get your labels. And then that way you don't have to touch the computer at all. If you're not able to do that, we will have somebody here operating the computers for you and just asking you questions and they can enter your information for you and print out your labels that way. And then hopefully in the weeks ahead, we'll send you info about how to use that new check-in center with iPads and new printers and we'll do mobile check-in there as much as possible as well. So that's the check-in process. Everybody, volunteers, kids, to everybody that's participating in children's ministry this week, we would love for you to check in before you go into the service now, this week. So here we are out in the lobby. When worship time comes to an end in the opening part of the service, we will release children to go to children's ministry. We would love for parents to help them, even the older ones this time around, since we're kind of gonna do a different system for now. We would love for parents to help their kids get to the right spot. This week, everybody's gonna be outside. Uh, we're trying to be able to extend that outdoor time where there's less exposure to germs passing, transmitting to one another. We're gonna utilize this nice weather while we still have it. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day, a little bit cool maybe, so sweatshirts might be a good idea, but ready to play. So clothes ready to enjoy the outdoors. And we will have Jackson sign here. Hi. Jackson's got a sign on the stick that says K through first grade. And each one of our groups of volunteers for children's ministry is gonna have one of those signs and they're gonna be out on the front lawn. So you can enter through or exit through those doors or the doors over there and you will see the signs for the different age groups. So if you have a four and five year old, there'll be a sign for them. If you have K first, second through fifth, there'll be signs for each of those groups together. And so we would love for kids to congregate near their sign and check them in with the teacher and they'll have an attendance clipboard. And you will already at check-in, I didn't mention this, but at check-in, we will have also a sign posted of our health screening questions. We're not gonna be asking you those questions, but we would love for you to look. We don't want anybody that's feeling sick to be coming to church um, because in this season, especially with COVID, but other sicknesses, it's, it complicates people's lives quite a bit if even if they have a cold. So we would love for people to um, engage in children's ministry when they're healthy and to choose to stay home when they're not healthy, okay? So we'll have that checklist of things to ask yourself posted there that you can check out and it's just on the honor system of we're trusting you to take care of everybody else around you. So thanks for checking on that. So our groups of kids, we will still be doing face shields or masks for the time where we gather together. 
and each of our age groups will have a different location that they're going to be playing outdoors on campus so that they're not all in one massive group of 50 kids. We'll have cohorts of kids in different locations with their teachers. Um, we have different activities planned for them that will be super fun for the kids this week. And for our nursery toddler kids, they are gonna be out on the side yard and I've got a different set of instructions there for you coming up next. So parents, this is where you're gonna bring your kids out to the front lawn. See the sign, bring them there, check them in. And then when church is over, as soon as service wraps up and they let you know that it's time to get your kids, you'll meet them in the same spot where you drop them off. Check in with their teacher, give them your guardian label from check in and see that the teacher is able to check them off of the attendance list. The teachers are not gonna wanna spend the next 45 minutes out there <laughs> monitoring children still after service is over. We want you to come in and connect with your kids and make sure that the teacher knows that you have officially checked them out and then they're all yours and you can go about your business the rest of the day. So, so here is our toddler fenced yard right on the west side of the church, right outside of the nursery actually. And for this Sunday, we will have that fully staffed so parents no longer have to remain with their kids. But uh, we will have three workers out here and we would love for one-year-olds up through three-year-olds to be able to come out here after worship ends uh, during the sermon time. When children are released from the service, our young ones will be able to come out here and we will have our toddler slide and play equipment and some toys to play with uh, that they can play with out here and if they have a sweatshirt we might want that this Sunday it looks like it's going to be a nice day but maybe a little bit cool we hope that you um, come and join us this Sunday in outdoor children's ministry and stay tuned next week for the next phase where we're going to be bringing some of the kids the younger ones especially indoors and we're still working on final preparations to make sure that we have a great system for that to keep everybody as safe as possible and so we'll let you know of the phases as they come but that's for this week we hope you join us bye